In this short video, I'm going to show you a Microsoft Outlook productivity tip that can save you a bunch of time. Let's get to it. Now, Microsoft has added some additional features to the out of office menu in Outlook that can actually save you some time and help you be more productive. Now, when you turn automatic replies on, and more specifically, when you want to send replies during a specified time period, there are now three new options that you can set. Now, the first option is block my calendar for this period. Now I'll go ahead and check this and you can see that clicking it added an input field to the menu. Now what this feature does is it allows you to automatically create an event in your calendar for the specific period that you are sending automatic replies. Now you can also populate a title that will be displayed in that calendar event and using this feature will just save you from having to navigate to your calendar and create an entry manually. Next I'll go ahead and click save. And you can see here that I've brought up my Outlook calendar and this automatically added that event to my calendar. Now the next setting allows you to automatically decline any new meeting invitations that are sent to you that occur during this period. Now I'll go ahead and check this option here and I'll click save. Now what I've done here is I've signed into MS Outlook impersonating my colleague Diego and I am going to send myself an invite to meet that occurs during the out of office period. Now you can see here that this invitation has been received in my inbox. And if I click into my sent mail folder, you can see here that this meeting invitation was actually declined automatically thanks to the setting that we configured in the automatic replies settings. Now, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also download my free PDF guide that features several other Microsoft Outlook productivity hacks. All you need to do is click the link that I've included in the description below, fill out the form, and I'll send that right to your inbox. Let's get back to the video. Now, last but not least, you can automatically decline and cancel meetings that have been scheduled during this time period. Now, if I hover over the tooltip, you can see here that it reads, if you select this box, existing meetings that you scheduled will be canceled and meetings that you're invited to will automatically be declined. Now I'll go ahead and check this option here and you'll see here that this brings up a text field. Now I will click into this option here and you have two options. You can automatically cancel meetings that you've scheduled and decline meetings that you've accepted that occur during that period using the automatic reply message or you can create a custom message to include in the reply. Now I'll go ahead and click this option. It's going to bring up this text box. Now I have gone ahead and pasted in this custom message that reads, hello, due to unforeseen circumstances, I will be off. As a result, I am canceling any meetings that I have scheduled and declining any meetings that I previously accepted. And you can also choose which events that occur in that out of office window, you would like to clear from your calendar. Now, by default, all of those events are included. I will uncheck that out of office event that we created with the first setting. And next I'll go ahead and click save. And you can see that the meetings that I had previously accepted in my calendar were automatically declined. So that's it. In this short video, I showed you one of many Microsoft Outlook productivity hacks that you can use to save yourself some time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like, drop a comment below, share it with your friends and your colleagues, and most importantly, subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of my new content. And as a bonus, if you're interested in learning more about SharePoint lists, I have a special offer for you. All you need to do is click the link in the description below for more details. I'm Louis Akabalas. I'll see you in the next video.